The FBI is looking for more victims after they say one man has confessed to killing 93 people. They are calling Samuel Little the most prolific serial killer in the U.S. and in U.S. history. And they say one of his victims was killed right here in Central Florida. News 6's Jerry Askin is live in Marion County tonight. And today he caught up with that victim's mom. Jerry, what a story. Ginger, yes, and you can imagine she is very relieved today. The FBI says these cases date back to 1970. Even one case right here in Marion County, uh, Samuel Little is 79 years old after he confessed to killing more than 90 victims. Um, the FBI have been able to verify more than half of those cases, and he also gave the FBI sketches that he drew of his victims. His name is Samuel Little. The FBI says he's a bad guy, but also the deadliest serial killer in U.S. history. He spoke to CBS News days ago from his California prison cell, describing how he strangled his victims. You know, she fighting for her life, you know, fighting for my pleasure. The FBI has now confirmed 50 of those 90 or so murderers that Little claims he committed between 1970 and 2005. Among those, Rosie Hill, who was just 20 years old. He just, he just a full of the devil. That's the only thing I can say. Her body was found back in August of 1982 in Ocala after she went missing. Her mom told me over the phone today she's now more relieved. But I just thank God that we did find out, you know, that it was a male that killed her, that they brought us some clothes to a woman who did a foul foot. Little told the FBI in all he strangled 93 victims and he showed them drawings of some victims. Right now, the feds are still working to confirm more cases and ID victims here in Florida, like in Fort Myers, Tampa, Homestead, and Miami. And back here in Marion County, in the case involving Rosie Hill, it's one the sheriff's office says they can't forget. For years, we've been working on this case. It never went away, never stopped. And that's for Rosie Hill, who died here in Marion County. Her mom told me she left a two-year-old behind. That two-year-old is now 39 years old with her own family. Now, coming up here on New at 6, I asked Rosie Hill's family if they forgive Samuel Little. Hear what she said on New at 6. And as for Little, he's behind bars now in prison in California. For now, we're live in Marion County. I'm Sherry Askin, getting results. News 6. What a disturbing story, Jerry. Thank you. See the videos of Samuel Little's confessions and learn more about the growing investigation on clickorlando.com.